The Emancipation Proclamation is simply when slaves are becoming free. The Emancipation Proclamation includes two executive orders during the Civil War by the U.S. President Abraham Lincoln. The first one was issued in September 33, 1862, declared the freedom of all the slaves of the Confederacy States of America with their return to Union control by January 1, 1863. The second one was issued on January 1, 1863, named the Ten Different States where it would apply. Lincoln also issued the executive order which it, with it, with his authority as commander in chief of the army and navy under article 2 section 2 of the US constitution the proclamation did not ban slavery in slave holding border states such as Kentucky Missouri Maryland Tennessee or Delaware the Emancipation Proclamation was, criti was criticized at the time for freeing only the slaves over which the Union had no power. Although most slaves were not freed, immediately the proclamation did free thousands of slaves the day it went into effect, and parts of the 9 out of 10 states to which it applied. The As Lincoln had hoped, the proclamation turned foreign popular opinion in favor of, them, of the Union by adding the ending of slavery as a goal of the war. That shift ended the Confederacy's hopes of gaining official recognition, particularly from the United Kingdom, which had to which had abolished slavery prior to Lincoln's decree. Burns' actions had favored the Confederacy, especially when his provision of Brit British built warships such as the CSS Alabama and the CSS Florida. So the North's determination to win at all costs was creating problems diplomatically. The Trent affair particularly had caused se severe tensions between the un Union and Great Britain. For the Confederacy to receive official recognition by foreign power would have to would have been a further blow to North's diplomatic standing. Near the end of the war, abolitionists were concerned that, that the Emancipation Proclamation would be constru construed solely as a war act and no longer apply once fighting ended. They were also increasingly anxious to secure the freedom of all slaves, not just those freed by the Emancipation Proclamation. Thus pressed, as Lincoln staked a large part of his 1864 presidential campaign on a constitutional amendment to, abo to abolish slavery uniformly through the United States, Lincoln's campaign was bolstered by separate votes in both Maryland and Missouri. In, uh, to abolish slavery. In those states, Maryland's new constitution abolishing slavery took effect in November 1864. Slavery in Missouri was ended by executive proclamation of its governor, Thomas C. Fletcher, on January 11, 1865.